Okay, so let's talk about the ArtRage app. I'm just gonna open it up right here. This is what it basically looks like. Maybe the icons changed, but I'm going to open up ArtRage. It's opened up into my gallery. If you're not here, like if you say you're inside of a painting, you need to get back to gallery. You can just, um, sorry, let me get open this up in a painting. You can just press the little ArtRage logo down here, and then that you can go back to view gallery. Okay, so I wanted to show you that I've been playing in ArtRage for a while now, and it can do some of the most beautiful paintings that look and mimic real life painting with watercolors, with oils, drawing with chalks. I do cartooning in it, all sorts of things uh, to really, I guess, imitate uh, working with real paint. And it's really fun because you can have it with you everywhere, not like having to carry your paints around. You can be stuck in line somewhere or stuck in the back of the car and suddenly you can start working on a painting because it's really cool and you never run out of paint. So it's, it's awesome that way. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features in this introductory video just to kind of get you interested in what we're about to do here. Let me open up your typical bowl of fruit. You know, this is still life. This is what every artist kind of does. I'm going to tap on edit here so we can actually start uh, changing it. All right, first thing I'm going to do is just rotate this. This is uh, simply just the reference image that I would use to uh, be able to pick colors and stuff like that. Let me just zoom out on this so we can kind of keep both on the same page. All right, so it has the ability to uh, pick, you know, the colors that are that are on here so that um, I can match the color perfectly. Okay, so that's kind of why I have this here, and I'll show you how to do that later on. All right, here is my, my bowl of fruit. As you can see, it's a, it's a nice painting, a nice representation of what we have here. One of the really, really interesting things that separates ArtRage from just a basic drawing program on your iPad is the Layers menu. So I can open up Layers, and I can actually draw on any layer that I want. You can see I've made, my fruit is made up of multiple layers. My apple sits on one layer, the pear and the orange sit on a layer together, the plate and the shadow is a layer, and here's the background. So if I just select the background and tap out of it, now the only thing I'm painting is the background. So in fact, I'm going to get a red color here so you can really see it, and I have my oil brush, and let me get it nice and big here though, so let me, let me change how big that brush is here. Uh, let's go to 80%. Okay, so now you can see my brush. But if I brush over here to the to the um, plate, you see how I went underneath it? Okay. And and what's neat is, you know, I painted this drawing, this painting a year ago. And this is the other advantage of digital painting. The oil paint inside is still wet. Like as I bring my brush over it, it mixes with that gray that I had before. Do you see that? So that's really cool. So that's one of the advantages of working in layers is that um, I, can, I can paint over here on top of this orange and it's not gonna do anything because it's not, the orange is on a different layer. See, the orange is up here on this one, on a layer above it. So I'm actually painting underneath it. And you can see where I've painted right here in the, in the little layer. You can see what that's represented. You also might notice that I am using a stylus, which is really important, is that when you have a stylus to paint with, so you get a lot more accurate. I can still paint with my finger but it's just hard, harder to see things. Let me go ahead and undo those things that I've been doing, messing with this painting here. There we go, now I'm back to just my original. I do use underneath this to get the scale and everything right. I use the a reference image also underneath it. Let me show you how that works here. This little icon with a pin in it, I tap on that. Those are my two reference images. The first one is this one up here in the corner. You see I can, I can tap the eyeball and that goes away or comes back. And then this one here, my tracing one, I can go ahead and make that uh, fully and activate that. There it is. All right, so see, there's the image that I have, and there's my, my image on top of there, okay? And I can kind of see how much I can see through it right there. There, you can see really see through it, and I can adjust it so I just barely see it, just barely see it, and now I don't see it at all. I see my full painting. But that's important so that you're getting all your portions right, you're getting your shadows in the right place. This was not done automatically. This is not like one of those apps where you just say make into a painting and it, it makes it into a painting. Every bit of this I painted using these reference images just like a regular artist would. So, uh, But anyhow, that is how, let me go back to the gallery here. Uh, view gallery. That is um, just a little bit, a little taste of what's happening inside uh, this app. 